There were more than 2.1 million subway trips in the city last Friday, according to the MTA, a new record high amid the pandemic. That's one of the many reasons why Senator Chuck Schumer says 24 hours, seven day a week subway service is needed as soon as possible. With COVID rates dropping, vaccinations increasing, and restaurant curfews being lifted, the senator says it is time. We can see light at the end of the tunnel, including the subway tunnel. We're a city that never sleeps. If you shut down the subway, you shut down a part of our city. And we can restore it and should restore it now. Newsflash, this is New York City. People work at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. That's how we are. And according to the senator, it's not a question of finances since there's a $14 billion federal relief package for the MTA and the Long Island Railroad. And the Riders Alliance agrees. The governor should bring 24-hour service back immediately, as Senator Schumer says, because thousands of New Yorkers go to work overnight and have been suffering without it for far too long. There's no reason to keep it closed. The rationale is over. The city is reopening. It's time for the subway to reopen, too. Just this past week, MTA Chair Patrick Foy said, we are looking to bring 24-7 service back as quickly as we can. Ridership in the 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. period is modest, but that ridership will increase. As restaurants open, office buildings open, and city workers return in May, we're looking forward to bringing that service back. But subway riders want it now. I mean, I feel like there's people that still take the train, you know, overnight. So they, we're going to need the subways to be 24 hours. If the volume of people getting on the subway is getting higher, then they need to be open more 